So hey, this is Kevin at Treehouse Realty. I'm over here at a bank-owned fixer property on a Southwest 107th in Portland, very close to Beaverton. Um, this house needs a lot of work. There's a lot of mold, but I'm making this video because this house was really special at one time. It was built in 59 and somebody really loved it and it's a great house and if it can be restored to any degree someone's going to be pretty fortunate to be able to play with this and i think if you keep some of these mid-century modern features that they put in here and uh, i think it'd be a real winner so what we have here is, is uh, we're dealing with the kitchen and you know one of the first things that you you can already see the water damage is here because this roof's been tarped. I've known about this house for about a year now. So, and I tried to get a hold of the people who were selling it, but right now, well, or they weren't selling it. The owners of the tax records, they never got back to me. And the next thing you know, Wells Fargo got their hands on it. So it was in the middle of being repossessed somewhere along the lines. But as you can see, this has been going on for quite a while. I mean, you don't get rust like this when it just overnight so the electricals considering that how many times I've seen an electrical panel it's probably needs to be a little work done to it but um, on the electrical side of it so you can see here is got the old-fashioned intercom so one of the things that you almost want to be tempted to keep is this this fireplace is actually appears to be marble it doesn't seem like fake stuff. And it's the one cosmetic feature that might be pretty groovy to keep. So over here, right off of here, into this slider, which these windows have been replaced at one time, you've got kind of an indoor-outdoor pool going on. So it's kind of indoors, but it's kind of outdoors. Then on the other side of this wall is the courtyard with a fireplace. House sits on 0.62 acres. So it's pretty moldy in here. It's been going wrong for a long time. I mean, you know, good example again. Look at this. This is the, the, the heat vent, which is just they're all just corroded like this. But here's the punchline. The furnace is 92% efficient and it doesn't look like it's more than about five years old. And the hot water heater. And it works because it's been turning on since I've been here. I love the way they brought the indoor, brought a little of the indoors, outdoors in with the brick wood surrounded carpet thing here. Some of the ideas that they got going on here were just sublime. So here we're gonna be walking through. I'm not gonna take you downstairs because it's just the furnace I told you about and it's pretty blank and there's, there's water damage on one corner of the house that way over by the garage. That looked like it piled up pretty well because they cut drywall off of the floor up about two feet. So as you can see right here, so this would be the front of the house. So here's the front entrance and here's the here's the restroom right before that. And then here is a here is a translucent uh, 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 a wall of glass that has plant life that's out in front of it, which is really cool. This guy, whoever these owners were, really loved how plant life worked because they've got fountains on both sides look how you walk through that's a bedroom right there so then you would have walked into here and when it was new and running and lived and loved in this is a planter against this wood wall so he had plants growing here 
you walk in flanked by plant plant into this really terrific again going with the uh, the, the modern fireplace here and then they put in this this fountain which I'm having a hard time figuring they retroed or not right off of the pool there's two sliders right here So you can see here again, it's been damp in here for a long time when your furnace vents are getting up like that. So pretty darn wide halls. He's got to be at least three feet. And here's the main first bath, and here's a custom feature. You've seen a you've seen a in the wall drop down ironing board. Here's an in the wall drop down weighing scale. So I, I never see that. And then flush mounted sinks for 1959. So these guys really built something. So here you step down to the commode, then you step down to the sunken tub, which I wouldn't keep that. And then again, there would be plant life from the front door, which is right on the other side of that wall. And then you have a room that's all slider so you can get the outdoors in just a this is the most typical just bedroom and then have anything more than just that going on the house is almost feels ADA as wide as this hall is and as wide as these doorways, I mean, these doors aren't small. Here's the laundry room, complete with sink, drying, so again, another slider out to the back. Then you get into the master. Again, check, I mean, look at this. The way these guys did this stuff. It's unbelievable. And then here's your walk-in closet. It looks like it might pick up on film pretty well. Oops, a little bit too much maybe. But left their gun safe behind. So, you know, these are pretty high ceilings. Got to be nine footers. Great big giant slider. This is be the master bedroom area. So... These guys really worked on bringing the outdoors in. And then here's your master. Again, a slider in the master. I'm not sure if that's exactly necessary, but you can kind of see they're going here. You know, more water damage, but look how they did this shower. He's stepping down into this all tile shower. So they didn't allow for a tub in the master. Again, level, counter level sink, you know. It's just doing them undermounted now. This house is really in front of everybody else as far as this, how, how it was put together. and It was something special, you know. I'm not sure why the vanity's on the outside like this, but I think I can... I can get the idea, but I might want to flip it back around. And that's just another room with a with a slider. You know, again, bringing more of the outdoors in. So, well, that's a little bit about this house. It needs everything and then some. But it really, it really was something at one time or another.
Look at the way these guys have trimmed up these trees and maintained it. You can just see right through it. The brickwork that they brought that was inside is also outside right there and right over there. I think it said it was about 4,200 square feet. So most of it up's on one level. Great mature trees. Anyway, that's that house.